So let's work on your explosive leg drive by watching Dominic Team serve. Now, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. I've put their link in the description below. All right. Very simple concept here. You want to think of it as keeping track of what your body is doing, what your tossing arm is doing, and what your racket arm is is doing. So it's very simple. If we look at the beginning of Dominic team serve here, we can see that his body is up, meaning his body is tall and his tossing arm and his racket arm are down. So the body is up, arms are down. Now watch as he goes into a service motion. Now everything reverses. I want you to look at his head. Look how his head is sinking down. Notice that now his body is down and his tossing arm and racket arm are up. They go in opposite directions. What you don't want to do is bend your knees before you ever toss the ball. Meaning you don't want to think that's many times what beginners do. And it actually kind of stays with the beginner when they become more advanced. And you don't want to do that. It's toss, then get into your deepest knee bend. So here again, we can see his body is down and his tossing arm and his racket arm are up. Now, if we look at it where we get him into his deepest knee bend, I can actually measure this. Let's see here. Perfect, right? 86 degrees or 88 degrees, my fault. So he's at 88 degrees of knee bend. He is in his deepest knee bend when his racket is at its highest point in the trophy position. He's just about to hit the birthday hat. This is important. Because what we want is for the head to go up, the body to explode up as the tossing arm and the racket arm go down. Remember, we want the body and the arms to be going in opposite directions. Here the body is up and the racket is down and the arms are down. Now the arms are up and his body is down. And guess what? We're going to see his head go like this and go up as his racket goes down. Watch this. Look at his head going up as his racket is going down. It's important that you understand the sequencing of events because you need to be able to film yourself and see if this is what you're doing. Now, the benefit of bending your knees as much as he is, is because now he gets to explode up as the racket's dropping, that accentuates and exaggerates the shoulder stretch and it allows him to swing even faster. So you don't want to be dropping your arm as your head is staying level. Like you don't want your head to stay below that yellow line and you just let your racket drop. That's not what you want. You want your body going up as the racket's going down. That makes for a very explosive shoulder stretch. And that shoulder stretch has a bit of a recoil. And that's what snaps the racket up over your hand, almost like a rubber band. It's like pulling it down because your body's exploding up. And now that rubber band gets snapped, throwing the racket over your arm. So first and foremost, you gotta go out and film yourself hitting serves. If you already have, great, review the footage. You gotta know what you look like and compare it to what you just learned with Dominic Team's serve. Really simple concept here, your arms and your body need to be in opposite positions. Here I'm standing tall and my arms are down. Now my arms are up and my body is down. And the reason that my body is down is I'm bending my legs, I'm coiling away from the target. From there, that's where the magic happens. What we want is to explode up with our body just before we hit the birthday hat or as we're hitting the birthday hat. That maximizes the effectiveness of the racket drop and slingshots the racket up to the ball. Let me explain it this way. I want you to imagine I have an exercise, you know, the stretchy exercise bands, those rubber bands. If I'm holding on to both ends and it's right here in front of me, if I hold this side still and I stretch like this, I'm going to be stretching the band but the band isn't gonna stretch as much as if I move them in opposite directions. If I have the band right here and I stretch them opposite each other, the ends, the middle is gonna get a lot more tension than if I just move one side. That's what happens in the shoulder when you just drop the arm compared to explode up with your body. When your body is going up as the racket is going down, that's like the exercise band stretching in opposite directions and the shoulder is super stretched. That's why the slingshotting effect occurs and you get a lot more racket speed. So 
it's really important not just that you're using leg drive on your serve, but that you're doing it at the right time. Begin the upward leg drive as the racket is above your head. That will accentuate the racket drop and you'll really feel a difference with how fast you can serve. Now, if you're looking for new people in your area to play against, or if you're looking for a coach who's gonna help you with your serve, don't forget to use my link in the description, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis to get 50% off. Go out and work on your serve. Work on not just the leg drive movement of bending your knees enough, but get the proper timing of the leg drive compared to the racket dropping. And there's no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from twominutetennis.net. You got this.